Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I know you all have been paying attention to what's going on with this presidential election as we are on the countdown to the final days before the decision is made. Of course, we know that these two were selected so that you can elect who you think is the best person for the job. But um, anyway, Kamala may have just handed Donald Trump the 2024 election by putting her foot in her mouth. She made a massive mistake uh, when she responded to someone in the audience who was heckling her and saying, uh, Jesus Christ is Lord. Okay, so Kamala put her foot in her mouth, which goes to, uh, back to what I was saying um, in a previous broadcast, uh, that uh, there has been no pushback on Kamala at all about her relationship with the Most High, right? Um, and it's been said that she she's a, she practices Hinduism. So all of the Christians who thought that she was a better choice than Donald Trump. Again, my belief is that anyone who names the name of the Most High, if you say that you're a servant of the Most High, how could you vote for either one of these people? But this woman right here, she may have just handed it to Trump because at least he tries to stroke the egos or the minds um, or tries to pull for the support of Christians. But Kamala, she just put her foot in her mouth. Take a listen at this. Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. No, I think you meant to go to the smaller one down the street. Okay, so to me, it's very clear and obvious. Looking at that clip right there, um, Kamala Harris has a great deal of pride. Now, when I say that, y'all, for those of you who support Kamala Harris, that doesn't mean that Donald Trump doesn't have pride, okay? But we're talking about Kamala. You can tell that she has a great deal of pride. And she's starting to get very puffed up and, and arrogant with how she puts on her little displays, right? When you look at all of her gestures, even the way she laughs and the way she moves her head, uh, there's a lot of pride in every movement, right? Even making the comparison, I think, I feel like she's wearing it out at this point where she's comparing um, her rally sizes to Trump's rally sizes. Who cares, okay? Who cares about the size of your rally versus his? This man is still able to pull half of America. So, you know, and this is no in no way supporting Donald Trump. I'm just trying to make a point that uh, you should never be lifted up in pride about anything that you think you are able to do or capable of. But um, anyway, just with that one response to someone in her audience, by her saying what she said, oh, you're at the wrong rally. You need to go to that smaller rally up the street, up the road. Just by her saying that, the woman done put her foot in her mouth. Because there are a lot of Christians in this country that will be casting a vote. And hearing that statement alone, you just may have flipped them to your opponent. To your political opponent. The thing that you weren't trying to do. But that's what happens when pride kicks in or steps in. See, again, um, I haven't heard her make any uh, claims of being a Christian at all. Now, I did see images of her with a red dot in her, in, in the for, in her forehead, and some have said that she practices Hinduism. So that alone, with you making that statement or that comment, America's a Christian country. Whether you're a Christian or not, America is a Christian company, country. And if you're trying to know what I was about to say, company, y'all. So company, isn't that something? It is a country and a company, a corporation. Uh, but right now, I'm not talking about that. That's neither here nor there. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, there are a lot of Christians here. 
And by making that statement, you insulted them. You insulted their Jesus. You insulted all of that. And so that could have just been the determining factor. Although y'all that follow this channel, y'all know I don't believe that. Uh, whoever's going to be in office is already determined. And it's not by who you think it is. Of course, the powers that be already know who they want in there. But if that's who they choose, guess who's still in control? The Most High is still in control. So whether uh, Donald Trump waves his hands and dances his way into the White House or Kamala Harris cackles and laughs and grins her way into the White House, whoever sits in that seat, it was ordained, or should I say preordained by the Most High. For me, I don't care one way or another because again, biblical prophecy is gonna go out and, and go down just as planned regardless to who sits in there. But I just thought it was very, very interesting to see how Kamala responded in that particular situation. Her response to me was just, you know, um, kind of ignorant, ignoring the fact. Ignorant meaning ignoring the fact that there are a lot of Christians in this country. And for you to um, handle that in that way, I felt like it was very, very immature, uh, very unprofessional. I think the best way to have handled that, if you're going to be the president of the United States and you're trying to um, outdo Donald Trump, who has already um, won the hearts of millions of Americans. I think the best way to have handled that as the president of the United States uh, would be like, would, would just simply to ignore the, the comment. Don't feel the need to, to clap back. I mean, you're trying to be the president. Or if you're going to respond, say, well, if, if, if that's how you feel, enjoy the rest of your day and just leave it at that. But instead, she had to tap on it too much and, you know, lean into it too much and deal with it too much. And so with that, she may have just sunk her own ship, made a massive mistake, put her foot in her mouth. Share your thoughts on this in the comment section. I'm done with this, y'all. What are your thoughts on this in the comment section? Um, as always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until the next live or the next video, stay prayed up. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.